Hello, I'm Kun Kim from KAIST. I will present deep main first learning base through Silicon VIA array optimization methods considering cross-check. This is the content. First, I will give short introduction and then I will show proposed methods using deep RL. Finally, I will briefly show the result of the proposed method and give the conclusion. TSV is a key element of vertical interconnection that allows chip to be stuck in 2.5 or 3D form without using wire bonds. By using TSV instead of wire bonding, the wire length was dramatically reduced resulting in a great improvement in terms of loss. In addition, since the density can be increased, it serves to increase the capacitance of the entire memory. However, there is a structural difference from the conventional horizontal interconnection like uh, transmission line uh, microstrip, which could cause a lot of degradation in the overall system performance. Next, I will show you some SI issues at the TSV array at 2.5 or 3D IC, for example, high bandwidth memory. First, due to the impedance mismatching and discontinuity, interchangeable interference occurs like any other interconnections. The crosstalk problem is more serious because there are few ground and power TSVs that can block crosstalk. The amplitude of effects at the TSV array is depending on the pattern of TSV. In simple terms, the closer the victim TSV and the aggressor TSV are, the better, but because of the structure characteristics of TSV, the trend changes according to the dimension. As the preference of the entire system varies according to the TSV pattern. It is absolutely necessary to optimize the TSV array design. Conventionally, TSV array was designed by repeating the process of placing TSV and testing. Since 3D M simulation was used as test, a lot of test time was took. Moreover, a lot of design revisions had to be done because revisions were done without a specific policy. If a stretch existed, it would be the experience of the designer. And next chapter, I will propose the deep RL based TSV array optimization method considering cross-check. I propose TSV array optimizing method using RL. For given input initial TSV array design, the proposed method can provide optimal design agent output using RL considering cross-check. Proposed method train the police by repeating revising TSV array design and evaluating cross numerous time. To solve a problem using RL, the problem must be defined in the form of Markov decision process. I think most probably know the basic of RL, so I will skip the details. Depending on how each component is defined, the performance of the agent can change
first state. Since just means exist in the form of a grid, it is easy to express the state of the just arrangement in a matrix form. The types of each pins could be represented with the integer number, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, as empty, ground, power, and signal. This is very similar with the image. Next is action. I propose two types of action and put them together. First action is adding route. You guys probably know that the most easiest way to reduce cross check is adding ground vs around signal vs. However, adding ground vs must be carefully determined because it can affect characteristic impedance and insertion list. This action is very similar with plain go. Second action is swapping vs. This action is a method of revising array by picking up one TSP and swapping positions with other VS, like chess. If the ratio of signal power ground TSP cannot be changed, taking this action can only change the arrangement while fixing the ratio. Finally, revert. Revert function is determined by the difference between the magnitude of cross check at current state and the target. If the target condition is satisfied, so the termination state is reached, an additional reward is given. At this research, the target box is 3 dB lower than initial state. In the case of card pool, which is often used in our average search, it is very easy to calculate the reward. However, in a side domain, it is not. To obtain the best, an equivalent searching model of the TS theory in the frequency domain is required. And then, current cross check is obtained by using the carry of current loads from the TS theory equivalent searching model. Next, I will explain more details about the multi signal and ground TSV modeling. The key point of this modeling is similar with multi-transmission line modeling method that combines several ground elements together. First, calculate the self and mutual loop inductance of each TSV, considering its physical dimension. Then, the voltage at each inductor can be expressed in the in matrix form as follows. By the voltage condition of signal and ground. Effective inductance matrix could be evaluated through several matrix calculation. The capacitance and conductance of TSV could be calculated from the effective inductance by using the property of homogeneous medium. The additional thing to do is to calculate the capacitance of the insulator. The insulator capacitance and conductance plays major role at a low frequency range. Next, I will introduce the overall learning process. First, considering the large state dimensions and action spaces, deep learning was used, which replaced the conventional Q table with DNA. In addition, replay memory was used to greatly stabilize the deep training procedure. Moreover, two networks were used the target network and the evaluation network. The target network was updated with the weight of the evaluation network at regular intervals to stably find the And also, we used epsilon greedy policy. 
agent doesn't always choose the best solution from the state while training, but choose a random action with a probability of influence, which is called exploration. By making a new attempt, global optimal solution could be found more easily. Not local optimal solution. Through the successfully trained Dickian agent, the optimal test VRA design is derived. After the, after the agent predicts the Q value in the current stage through a target DNN, the action with the highest Q value is executed. Next, I will show brief result of the proposed method. Next, I will show a brief result of the proposed method. The proposed method was applied to the 3x3 type TSVRA at HPM. I used following physical dimension and 16 layer stacked HPM. The initial input design was fixed with the constant TSV type ratio. I use two hidden layer and limit the max tap per episode as five. Detailed hyperparameters are shown in the table. Both Lucifer network and the and the average reverse are saturated about after ten thousand steps. This is the process of optimizing the arrangement of 3x3 TSV array by the trained agent. As time step passes, the cluster becomes smaller and smaller to the target. Finally, I will summarize today's presentation. I propose deep reinforcement learning based TSV array optimization methods considering cluster. Also, I implemented TSVRA design automation with low-level inputs. Finally, I designed the optimal TSVRA for the high bandwidth memory. If you have any questions about today's presentation, please send me an 